Hi friends, this is Marilyn again from tarotclarity.com. Welcome back to my tarot parlor. And I'm doing two videos today, I'm on a roll. I've created a new playlist of tarot publishers and you know what, to, what you can expect when you um, purchase a deck from various publications um, or publishers from you know a variety of um, tarot publishing houses. This video is focused on the decks by Il Minigello, um, also um, from Italy, in Milan, Italy. Um, now, this is a high quality pr production, you know. All of the decks from Il Minigello um, come with quality, you know, a quality presentation usually a nice box, uh, always a nice box, um, always with their seal, their wax seal on the front. All of them have that. And some of them, uh, some of them will come with, you know, like maybe a booklet. Um, always, if it's a numbered run, it will always come with the number that you have. Um, a little booklet written in both Italian first and then English. A little short and sweet, you know, little information. Usually they're card. Sometimes I buy directly from In Gallo. Other times I'll purchase from an American um, distributor so I don't pay for the for the uh, you know, shipping and handling as much. Now, the one thing about many decks um, by Il Minigello, in Il Minigello, I dislike the card backs. I, I hate this. I, I just don't like that. For some people, they love it. <laughs> but I just, I, I don't like it. Not, not all of their card backs look like this, but this is a... Um, kind of like a trademark feature. Um, you won't see it anywhere else. Uh, I believe this is the Minchiati deck. Let me see to make sure. Yeah, uh, the Minchiati Florentine. It's smaller in size than, you know, standard playing cards. It's high quality paper, so it's a thicker deck. You can tell it's a thicker deck, you know. Um, you can expect to get high quality cards when you purchase from Il Minichello. No question about it. There are other publishing houses who have put out some of their decks. So, um, you know, like Los Scarabeo has a historic line of tarot cards. And I'll probably do a video of them, you know, down the road. Um, and their historic decks. Some of their decks, I, I don't have um, books, you know, so it's not a consistent thing that you'll get a book. Again, you'll get a card. You'll get an indicator of the number of your run, you know. Sometimes you just get a little sheet of paper in English and in Italian. A little reminder that the deck you purchase might have imperfections, but that the imperfections are... Um, you know, due to the workmanship and not a defect. Now, this is an example, um, the Soprafino or the Taraco Soprafino by Gu based on Gutenberg. Okay. Um, doesn't have that back, <laughs> thankful, thank, thankfully. It's also a very small deck, high quality card stock, high quality inks. Um, you can, you know, again, this, you know, a variation of this deck, you know, it can be had, you know, by, by a group like, um, Los Scarabeo. In fact, I think I have it right on my table. Give me a second. It's not the exact same deck. It's, it's different, but it's similar. And now uh, you can get this, you know, by Los Scarabeo for, you know, a lot less money. Um, 
So, you know, El Manichello doesn't necessarily make tarot decks that you can't get anywhere else. Um, but they'll take a popular deck and they'll, you know, give it a quality run, you know. Let's see. Uh, again, it, you know, they don't necessarily... I, I mean, I have three versions of this particular deck, which is the Giovanni Vachetta tarot deck. Um, but this is the best, you know, the best quality, you know, copy of this deck that I own. This one came with no booklet. It just came with my number and you know, the di little disclaimer about the quality of the cards because they're handmade. They all come with a sturdy box, you know, a nice sturdy box. They're all a little thicker because of the cardstock. And the colors are just outrageously beautiful. This particular deck, um, the originals that have been handed down are in sepia or black and white. And so any publisher who creates this deck takes liberties with the color they imagine would have been used. And so the three versions of this deck that I own, all three have different colors. But this one is my absolute favorite production. And let's see, I'll show you a few more. This one is the one probably that people like the least that's been put out by Il Manigello. It's the, you know, the classic Marseille. And the reason I think many people dislike it, again, this one didn't come with any cards. It just came with a little handmade disclaimer. It is one that has the, the backs. I think the reason people don't like this deck is because it's so glossy. I don't know for sure, but I think this might be the only deck that they did in a high gloss front and back. Very, um, very heavy lamination. However, it doesn't bug me. Lamination doesn't bug me. If, if, if a deck is shiny and glossy, I don't really care. I just care the quality of the cardstock, you know, and how beautiful the deck is and how well it's made and the colors, that kind of thing. So the glossiness doesn't offend me at all. Um, and this one, um, it is, although it's Marseille, you can see how, you know, it's influenced by the Italian um, Piedmontese region, right? I'll just show a few cards. Oh, look at that beautiful moon. That is gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and then here we have a fool very much in the tradition of the Marseille style. And I'll show you maybe one more of my decks by Il Minigello. This one is the tarot, neoclassic tarot. Um, I have another publication of this by Los Scarabeo. And when I do Scarabeo's video, I'll show it. Um, again, this is not a Il Manigello that came with a booklet, but you know, if it is a numbered run, you'll get your number. And boy, did I get this one under the wire, huh? <laughs> there aren't too many left of this one. And this is a beautiful one, so. I, if you don't have it and you are inclined to get it, I get it now. <laughs> Again, a disclaimer about the quality of the card. A little thicker, as usual, you know, because it's quality card stock. Smaller. They're not large cards. Um, Il Menengelo's cards come in a variety of sizes. They're not necessarily all the same size. Um, but they tend to be on the smaller side. So if you have small hands or if you just like smaller cards, because maybe you like to use a spread with 30 cards or 20 cards or 15 cards. It makes it a lot easier, you know, to, uh, if, if the cards are a little bit on the petite side. It's a beautiful deck, beautiful deck. You know, just beautiful. Again, these decks are historic decks, you know. Um, not everybody is inclined 
to gravitate toward the historic decks. But there's no way to learn about tarot and tarot history than to actually look at the decks and to know the point of reference of when they were made, you know, and the region. And um, they tend to be just exquisite. Look at that, the four cups there. Mm, just really beautiful. And so I think this concludes my video of what you may expect when you purchase decks from the house of Il Minigello. Until next time, friends, peace and stay well.